Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl Swift, the Duchess of Rock and Roll. I'm here tonight in St. Louis at the Music Record Shop. And I'm here with none other than Wild Adriatic. Hi. <laughs> they, love, they love Toto. That's it's our new record. This is our new record. <laughs> Little, little gift from me in the record shop. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, it's Travis, Travis, yeah. Travis's new record. Travis, Mateo, and Rich. Howdy. So, you guys are in town tonight playing a little show, the uh, Atomic Cowboy. That is very true. They won't see this till like a couple of days from now, so <laughs> yeah. no one will. It was a good show. It was a great show. It rocked. We don't know what time it started or when it ended, but yeah. it was awesome. It was cool. We did some stuff we've never done before. And you missed it. So <laughs> that's on you. There were no pets. Mic drop. So, um, so my friend Paul, who's a huge music fanatic in Indiana, has been talking about you for, oh my gosh, a year and a half, two years maybe? I've been talking about Paul for almost three or four years. So <laughs> I mean, seriously, is he not the nicest guy, Paul and Daniel? Yeah, Shout out to you guys in Indiana. We wish you could be here tonight, but we understand. I don't. I don't either. I they don't, don't understand. She's, she's more forgiving than we are. <laughs> <laughs> so now, how did you guys meet? Um, Tam and I met when I was uh, four, and he was like five or six. Yeah. And he moved into my neighborhood. Oh, yep. so your childhood <laughs> buddies. Yeah. And yep. where did we find you? Um, so they were playing in their first band together, and they started playing in other bands after that. And I started watching their bands, and then I eventually <laughs> joined a band of my own, and Mateo used to book so that band, <laughs> and then I convinced them to let me join this band, and then now I'm here. <laughs> right? Like, yeah, I got it. He's not going to forget. And he, it's the he, genesis. That is the genesis of the Wild Adriatic. And there's that hair. You guys have such different expressions of hair. <laughs> I mean, those are three different expressions. You're different people. You're such That's different people. Thing about but us. when you come together, your music is so good. How many how many albums and EPs do you have now? <laughs> Seven or six. 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 Yeah, it's our second album that was six ish. Three pieces. Six ish. Two albums and one live album. And there's the one new, we're trying to forget about. The new album, Feel, is really great. I was listening to it today. You're out promoting it. Now, is it getting are we getting radio airplay? Do we need to do we need you need to call radio stations and ask for yeah, <laughs> let's I'm ask for some wild Adriatic air airplay. They have the record, so they should be playing. Yes, yes. Well I love your music. And I know you guys have been touring a lot, like I read, did you do like 175 dates last year? We did, yes. You do the rock boat? Yes. It just got off. Yes, how was that? So much fast, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just recovering, I think, still. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, land legs. Yep, exactly. It's fun. And do you find that on those cruises that you make friends with the bands, the fans? I mean, do you like that in, immersive experience? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It's the only way to. Yeah. Only have a good time. You can relax. Yeah, you can relax and just hang out with people. And everyone wants to hang out anyway, aside from if you're in a band or not. So right. Cool. I've heard it's super fun. I wish I could go on ships. I'll have to see you at festivals. No ships for me. We gotta get you a treatment the ship. Yes, you know, there are these patches you can wear now. You wear, yeah. Mateo's, are you a patch wearer? No, I can't, I'm too, well, it's pound anyways, but uh, <laughs> I get, you know, I sweat them off, so I didn't wear them. I gotta start oh. wearing them, though, apparently. I, the other shit I took didn't work. Meclizine <laughs> is like, is like aspirin. You gotta have the big mech daddy when you're on the sea. Apparently, yeah. yeah. Dog. Pucky. Yes. Dog yes. pucky. Pucky. It's the word of the day. So you're here in St. Louis. How long is this tour you're on? <laughs> Five weeks and we're on week six. Yeah. Five weeks and you're on week six? Three. Uh, three. Yeah. <laughs> six. No, wait. We're on week three, right? Uh, and the week four. And the week we four. We left February 1st and we're going back home March 6th. Okay, good. Five weeks. Like five weeks. Five week tour. Yep, five week tour. Five it's week a tour. five week tour. tour. I know. Oh, I totally just went there in my mind. That's scary <laughs> that I went there. And where do you, you leave here and you're going to Indy? Uh, we're playing Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Right oh. Oh. Annapolis. Chicago. Chicago. What, what bar are you playing in Chicago? 
I don't know, but we're going to Portillo's as soon as we can to get some goddamn hot dogs. <laughs> oh, oh, the yeah. famous hot dogs. Yeah, you know, yes. Chicago yeah, sausage. I don't know where we're playing. I don't the care. first thing I do is when I get to Chicago is get Garrett's popcorn. That's my favorite Chicago popcorn. It's famous. It's really? it's it's caramel and cheddar mix, and it's crazy expensive, and it's delicious. It's delicious. It's if you survey a thousand people and that comes up on two people's surveys as something from Chicago, I'd be very surprised. I, I that's a thing. I swear. What else? What else from Chicago? What else is from Chicago? What other weird foods should we find? Um, let me think. Well. Yeah, the pizza, the, pizza, the famous Gino's pizza. Dish. Yeah, I can't eat pizzas. No. I do, but I should. What? Do you have a gluten thing? I have a dairy. <gasps> yeah. Stupid dairy. The Lord has smited me. <gasps> no dairy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no <laughs> pizza. No. For him. Yeah, I could, I would, if I could eat cheese, I would die. Okay, I, I could eat, I could live forever. But um. Forever. Forever. Well, I kind of like Why it. Why did you send me any cheese then? <laughs> I did it. Oh. You did. I did. I love cheese so much. Garrett's popcorn. You have to get some tomorrow. Yeah. And then there's a very famous bakery, Luke's, Luke, Luke, I don't know the name, but they have this pastry called Bankrügen. It's very famous. It's really, really super cool. Sounds angry. It's an angry pastry. Bankrügen. Anyway. Ooh, Chicago. Chicago. Chicago, yeah. We're going there tomorrow. You guys won't be there. It's yeah, fun. God, this won't even be up for a week, so people will be like, oh, I'm going to see them. No, you're yeah. not. Um, so, <laughs> so after this tour, you're going to do another album. You said you were recording some new songs. Well, Phil just came out, right? Yeah, we're not we're doing another album. No, we're, just, we're not doing another album. No. I'm sorry, I was wrong. We're just going to be on tour for like the next year. Oh, great. Promoting Phil. Yes. Which is a great Time. album. Yeah, we're trying to get more people here, you know? Yes. Well, that's the goal, right? Always. Absolutely. The other thing I was going to ask you is influences. I was reading today online what it said your influences were, but I wanted to hear you guys tell me who your influences were. Rich. Oh, well, I think uh, I think personally right now, uh, we, lot, we focused a lot on, on, like, on Zeppelin last year, and I think that that helped kind of guide me in a certain direction, maybe. Yes. A little bit, more, like, some of the sorts, on some of the rockier songs, I feel like I was trying to do more of, like, a Zeppelin feel. Nice. Um, and Zeppelin, I, I think, is an influence for us. I like uh, White Denim. I think they're, they're really good, and uh, we've all been digging on Bolt Pack. Joe Dart is, like, DeVoof. They most killer bass player. Okay. Uh, you like funk music? Yeah. Um, I wish I was Joe Dart. <laughs> uh, there can only be one Joe Dart. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. okay. You're still cool. We still like you. Yeah, there you go. You for yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Uh, they leave me. I'm like, I listen to a lot of funk music. I really like turquoise. Mm. And uh, their drummer, Mikey, is really, really good and tasteful. I'm trying to figure out some shit like that. Yes. And Zeppelin always, you know. Well, yeah. You'll never be as good as John Bonham, so you always try them. Right. And you, mister? Uh, right now, literally at this moment, I'm digging on Toto. Toto. Uh, because it's playing in the background. And so I love Steve Lucas there. Steve Lucas the man. He is. All things we um, Yeah, just like all the Motown. I like blues. Super, super generic answer. Stevie. Super generic answer, I'll take. <laughs> he plays guitar and he likes Stevie Ray Vaughan. Shocking! That? that was actually on the website. Stevie? Yeah. yeah. That is one of the answers that was on the website. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's true. Stevie Ray Vaughan is the man. Well, he, I mean... He was the man. I, I he still that. is the man, but... Right. Well, no. Technically, <laughs> not still the man. Like, could I, his music is still, still awesome. Yeah, he's he's his still, music is still the man. His music is the music. Yeah, his music is the man. You're the man, Miss Mullins. Well, he was his school of rock. Don't worry about it. Oh, school of rocks. I love that. <laughs> well, so anyway, I'm thrilled I got to meet you today. I'm thrilled Paul shared you with me. me I'm thrilled too. I get to see you play live for the first time tonight. We're thrilled that we had you in for the turntable takeover. Yeah. We're really bad tonight. We just don't put this up. Like, it went for like, a terrible day. You're like, oh my God, what is this? 
I'm still gonna put up the interview, yeah, but I know I already like you. Promo. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I mean, my friends love you. Uh, I listened to your music and I loved it. I love live experiences, though. You know that. What if I'm just like ah ah? Nailed it. I mean, there's video of us playing online, though, <laughs> so yeah, you can check Maybe that out. Maybe that'll be different. He's trying yeah, to he, talk you out of it. But I know. I like this. He, he doesn't record. want me to come to the show. <laughs> He's like, just I go do. home to some no, I, do. I, do. I, do. I, do. <laughs> I wanted to come. Okay, fine. I'll come to the show. Yeah. So uh, tell the people where they can find you guys online. Google. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> Facebook.com slash wildadriatic. Wildadriatic.com. Wild the tweeters. The tweeters. Instagram. <laughs> Instagrams. Instagrams. Uh, we are on. Uh, you take a picture, you put it on the line. MySpace. MySpace.com slash Justin Timberlake. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hold the line. Hold the line. That's the best play out. Anyway, I've lost all control here. <laughs> We're at the Music Record Shop in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Cheryl Swift, Dutch of Rock and Roll. This is Wild Adriatic, along with some Toto blaring in the background. <laughs> Shout out to Steve Luke. Steve Luke, there. If you're listening to this right now, do we really? Hey, we should hang Steve, out. Steve, they love you. I'm going to tweet this to you so you can see you got more love in the interview than I did. Steve, I'm a huge fan. Please, <laughs> be my friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. Like, anyway, Steve, you know, let's do an interview someday so we can talk about how fun this was. I'm Cheryl Swift, the Duchess of Rock and Roll, and we all wish you peace, love, and rock and roll. Yay! Bye.